Clearly, the Greek situation is bringing to a head a crisis of major proportions in the European Union. On the one hand, you have the core countries of the Union, uh, what are sometimes described as the core countries of the Union, those who are in effect bailing out the programme countries um, by providing monies through the European Financial uh, uh, Stability Fund, the EFSF. And uh, <coughs> clearly, because of the fact that Greece, over a period of time, has run up an enormous debt mountain, the problem in terms of market reaction is becoming extremely serious. I hope that what happens is that an agreement in regard to what Greece will do, properly implemented, is adequate to satisfy the European Union, the ECB and the IMF in regard to further support for Greece because it would be utterly destructive if Greece were to unilaterally default on its debts or to find itself unable to comply with the obligations imposed on it by the European Union, the ECB and the IMF. It would be destructive not merely to Greece but risks creating a contagion event which would damage both uh, the other uh, programme countries, uh, Portugal and Ireland, but also perhaps even Spain and Italy, uh, by creating a market sentiment that the weakness that would result from uh, the failure of Greece could spread elsewhere. So, uh, to my mind, it's very important that a balanced agreement taking into account the maximum that Greece can do, but not asking them to do more than they can do, be concluded as soon as possible to overcome a problem which will become manifest one way or the other in the next days.